A great welcome. Welcome to the chat at Nother. Uh, this is the third chat at Nother, and it's between me, Kira, uh, who owns and runs Nother, and Sinead, my sister, who works with me in France and is on Team Nother. <laughs> yeah, hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. Um, so yeah, so there's there's it feels always like there's loads happening here, and that we're we're gliding along in this beautiful kind of mm, river of connections and doings and and um growing and learning all the time um so yeah Sinead what's our plan today what are we chatting about uh we have lots to talk about as you said um but we have come to the end of the month of flow mm -hmm. and so this month we've really been talking about well you have been talking about hope molecules and that amazing book and so would you like to share a little bit more about that with people? Yeah, um, my, my knowledge is very like superficial. It's just what I read in the book, but hope molecules are these endocrine mm, molecules, uh, a hormone that are released from the muscles of our body when we create enough effort that we feel just a little, it's, it's not a really casual, slow walk, you know, with the two-year-old. It's, it's, a, it's a vigorous walk, not, a, not necessarily a run, but you feel like, Oh yes, I'm moving. And after 20 minutes of engaging your body and your muscles, you get this endocannabinoid, cannabinoid, oh, I can never see that word, um, released from the body. So the muscles actually become an endocrine organ and they release hormones into the blood. And those hormones, when, they're, when they land into the brain, they create um, social connection, they create euphoria, they suppress appetite, they, they do all these amazing things, things that we, we long for, things that we're like, oh, if only I could feel happier, more hopeful, more regulated. And that's what happens. So the runner's high uh, hope molecules, they're just something that we should all be cultivating every day. So moving, um, yeah, moving every day is really important. And nowadays, because we're moving less, it's very important that we plan actionable steps every day to move more. Um, so yeah, that's great. Well, the perfect opportunity to do that is twenty minutes with yoga, <laughs> yoga here in the morning, isn't it? Yeah. I definitely feel more hopeful at the end of yoga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's 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 this amazing moment just at the end where we check in and we go. So so how am I? And it's like oh, I feel I feel the the potency and the aliveness of me, and it has this. Yeah, it has a, a deep euphoria for me, a, a connectivity into myself, which I just love. Um, yeah. Great. Yeah. And on Monday morning, we're going to start with light. Yeah, yeah. So light, I've been crafting light the last few days. Uh, so flow, no, uh, flow, yeah, flow ended on Thursday. So we had Friday, Saturday, and today, Sunday. And it's like I'm reaching into the dark of me and, and wondering where we're all going to go, how we're going to map this together. And, you know, my idea is setting intentions um, and that idea that where you start on the 1st of February is, is a process that will evolve and grow and we'll, we'll deepen into that intention over the 28 days. And it's like a roadmap to how do I become a bigger, brighter, more wholesome version of myself. Um, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling very excited. Um, committed, uh, determined, um, euphoric, uh, um, convinced. Yeah, there's all these deep sense of the resonance of this practice right now feels really appropriate. So we're going to be lighting candles and we're going to be setting intentions. And um, yeah, it feels really important to have a, a roadmap for this time, a plan for the next 28 days. That's lovely. And what else do you have going on at your... Uh, no, there are, uh, mm. got some amazing webinars coming up. Yeah, so his, uh, his eight-day cold water um, resilience um, is starting next Sunday. Um, and so there's a webinar on this Wednesday. And that's a free webinar that talks about the science and uh, the reasons why cold water immersion is really good for resilience, for your wellness. Um, it has loads of different um, kind of effects and uh, bonuses. And he goes through that. And then the cold water begins the next Sunday. What date is that, Sinead? The 7th. The 7th, yes. Next Sunday, the 7th, his cold water eight-day eight day starts. And, um, and then we've just launched uh, the 
um, tension releasing, uh, eight day soma breath, and that's gonna be the week after. So that starts on the 14th, and um, there is a free webinar about that on the 9th, isn't it the 9th? The 10th. Oh, the 10th, yes, the 10th. And um, so that's, that's um, really deeply moving into how tension, how it binds us, how it holds us, and then how we release that and how we become more regulated. Um, it should be amazing, yeah. That's great. Well, all the information is on the Nodder Facebook page and yeah. in the newsletter, but those two webinars, two free webinars on the 3rd and on the 10th, and uh, they should be amazing. Yeah, 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 the response is incredible. Also, there's been really amazing feedback about them. Um, it's very, I, I, it's very amazing having this connectivity with the community. You know, people, I think maybe because we're not seeing each other face to face, I get a lot more texts and emails and written letters and um, cards and it's it's quite amazing the the outpouring of connection through the the the, the devices I have and um, yeah so the, we've had some really amazing feedback and um, and I'll be putting those up on the Nother page over the next few days and so you can read other people's experiences of those summer breath eight days. Fantastic. Yeah. And you were in the newspaper as well. Yes, I was da, 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 in the Connacht Tribune and in the City Tribune and that actually. It's like it ended last, the, the Connacht Tribune and City Tribune. The Connacht Tribune's out for a week. And then, so I was in there all last week and it was really amazing article. Judy Murphy came and um, we had such a laugh for two hours and we just, yeah, it was wonderful. Um, and so then if you want to read the article, uh, I do have it up on my blog and it's also up on the Nother page. Um, so yeah, great, lovely. Yeah, yeah, it was very exciting. It, it really, it, it, the community really enjoyed being really seen and affirmed and acknowledged. And then it was very nice for me as well just to, to read how somebody uh, interprets what I do. And it was beautiful. Yeah. Great. And so what else are you up to this week? What about the garden? Yeah, I didn't do anything in the garden this week. I kind of stayed away from it completely. Like I kind of looked out and went, mm, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but there's quite a lot of flooding. My geese are out there and there's a turlock in our back garden. And so, um, so yeah, I kind of yeah, I just didn't do any at all. None, none, zero, zip. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I, I allow myself to do that. I, I kind of, there's a t like in the next little while, it'll just start moving so fast. There'll be just so much to do that this moment of a pause is very, it's very nice. It's, it's natural, it's part of the cycle, um, so yeah. Yes. Well, for anybody who knows you, you maybe you weren't out in the garden, but I'm sure you weren't sitting around. So you're a busy bee. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Unlikely that you were sitting doing nothing. Yeah. Great. Nice. I think that's us, Sinead. I think that's us. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to stick up the, um, the new uh, email address that will get you, Sinead. Yes, so if you anybody wants any information about anything that's going on at Nodder, you can email me. So I'm info at nodder.com, which is on the screen. Um, but we will also put in the information below the information, the links to the webinars, to the article, and to the, um, the Hope Molecule. Yeah, the book. book. Yeah, yeah, it came from a book, um, The Joy of Movement. Don't know the name of the author, but it was uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really it's very and it's very it's told as a story more so than hard science, you know. But there's a lot of science woven into it, uh, which is really nice. Yeah. Nice, great nice. guys. <laughs> well, have a great week, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and keep moving, keep connecting, um, and yeah, really like have an attitude of gratitude and uh, and be well. Okay, um, nice. Thanks so much. Great. Thanks, Thank Sinead. You. Okay, bye, Kara. Great. Bye. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>